No one's entirely sure where life on Earth came from, whether it evolved naturally here or came from somewhere else in the cosmos. But one group of scientists claim they found evidence that life is coming to Earth today from outer space. The team, led by Professor Milton Wainwright of Britain's University of Sheffield and University of Buckingham, say they found something rather spectacular in a recent experiment where they sent a sampler attached to a weather balloon into the stratosphere. We found some unusual organisms up there and we believe that they're from space. Now of course everyone else believes they're from Earth. And the latest news is very exciting because one of our biological entities we found has made a crater on the sampling disk. The exciting thing about that is it must have been coming in from, from space at speed. It can't have been lazily drifting up from the atmosphere, from the Earth. So we believe that this gives us a pretty definite proof that this biological entity is coming in from space and not coming from Earth. Basically, it's a, a, a titanium sphere very small, about 30 microns, very incredibly small. And um, inside there's biological material um, oozing out. And on the outside, you've got a net of like fungus material. So obviously nothing like this is found on Earth as far as we know. And it's very exciting uh, because of that. But as yet, the scientific community remains unconvinced. There's been trolling on the internet, which you always get, I guess. Some so-called bona fide scientists have uh, attacked us without reading the papers. When you talk about organisms from space or anything to do with that, you get the, uh, the usual little green man stuff, you know, and um, uh, it's the only area of science which immediately people give a knee-jerk reaction to. All I ask is that people read our papers, they're now out. Of course, people have been saying that the journal we've published in is not peer-reviewed. This is absolute nonsense. Um, you can see in that press release I give a comment from one of the referees. Uh, it has been refereed. We think it's exciting. So all I'm saying to people is, Stop writing these negative things on the internet and prove us wrong. Perhaps they have a point. Surely before declaring a discovery, the team should prove they're looking at what they believe they're looking at. Oh, no, no, no. I, th I, think, I think you're wrong there. I think the onus on science is to, uh, to try and replicate people's um, claims. This is how science operates. You know this business about, oh, uh, unusual claims require amazing evidence. This is nonsense. Throughout science, what people do is they, they make a claim and then other people test that and prove it right or wrong. I mean, clearly, we cannot prove anything right or wrong by ourselves because we, we, are, we are quite happy with what we're finding. So we need critical um, examination. So people need to send more balloons up there and uh, demonstrate that these organisms must be coming from Earth. So why hasn't it been possible to prove beyond doubt that this is something completely new? After all, we've got the object in our hands. Well, one of the problems, of course, is we're, we're dealing with an extremely small particle here. Everybody says, why don't you do this, why don't you do that? We've only got this one little particle which we've got to do our work on. Unfortunately, we have to cover the sampling gold to get pictures um, of the uh, material. And once it's covered in gold, the chances of doing um, DNA are even more difficult. Again, it's very small, and now we've covered in gold. To do DNA analysis is, is very difficult. So what's the next step and the future after that? Well, we are sending up new samplers, and we're hoping to uh, collect more for, for some DNA analysis. Um, and that will obviously make people happier. And we're hoping to find more and more unusual organisms, as I said. Of course, <laughs> the bad, bad news may be that we, we only find these things on one, at, one flight. If not, we'll keep trying in the future and other people are trying. So eventually we'll build up a kind of a portfolio of information about this and we should be able to get some conclusion in the near future, I guess. The group's findings have been published in the Journal of Cosmology.